I'm MashMable12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a script that will check if the username is available in the database. Um, so this is useful for like registration scripts um, scripts like that that will check it doesn't have to be for username, it can be for anything else you want but I'm just going to use the username as an example um, so basically we'll check if the username is available and we'll tell the user in real time so if I just show you an example on um, the able12.com website actually if I go to register and if I start typing in um, something into username for example if I put ash into username as you can see it says sorry that username is taken and if I just try something else I can see their username available and as you can see um, if you look real close at username available if I now add another character you will see how you will get a quick like loading image and um, that does actually move by the way it's not just a static image and um, the arrows will turn um, but because it's running that quick um, that it doesn't really look like it's doing anything but it is uh, basically that's just a gif image and um, so I'm going to show you how to create something like that um, so first of all um, I've just created just a quick text box here with nothing else there because it's just an example um, the text is username, name is username, id is username for the javascript and I've just created a div next to it called status with the id status um, and then we've got our script there for check underscore user dot js okay so to start with the js file um, what I'm going to do here is um, just create something here um, so dot key up I'm going to create a function so when someone types into the username text box when they type into this text box and um, what we're going to do is create a variable called username and that is going to be equal to um, the username field so whatever's in the username field dot val which is value so that's going to get whatever the user has entered in real time so um, character by character um, and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to create here uh, status so in that div I'm going to now add in an, um, some HTML here so img source is equal to username underscore loader dot gif which is what I've downloaded um, so if I just save that out and we refresh this and see what happens if I now type um, oops what's happening Control F5 that uh, oh there we go spelled loader wrong ok let's try again I see now as I'm typing um, that is now appearing don't worry about the um, how it looks um, it's just because I've got it off my website which is for a black background not white so for example if I just change the um, the BG colour here to a black um, as you can see it comes out a lot more clearer there um, so anyway that's that as you can see it's going round but nothing's happening yet um, so what we can do is if I, in this javascript if I just create an if statement to say if username um, doesn't equal nothing so if it's got something in there um, first we're going to create an else so if it contains nothing because we don't want to come back to here so it contains nothing and that's still going around we want it to now disappear so basically what we do is just put in status.html nothing there so if we refresh I can see it goes away go back to nothing 
and it goes away. Okay. So now in here, we need to now post this data to a PHP file to check the database. Um, so to do this, we just create dot post um, in here, and that is where we're going. Where are we going to post it to? So check underscore user dot php, um, and this now will create the variables. So we want to create a variable called username, and that is going to contain the value username. So basically, the second one is um, the value of what we want. So what the user has entered from this text box, which we named as username. If we put this as text for example then that would be text right there I'm just going to keep it as a username and like that and the first one here is the variable name of what we want to call it when we get it from um, the dollar underscore post in PHP okay so now we've got that we've posted it um, we're just going to create a function and this is going to be the um, Actually, we'll put data. Oops. Okay, and basically, we're just going to then state to uh, basically we pop post back to um, that div tag and um, the data what the PHP files back. So if we echo in the PHP file, um, sorry that username is already taken. That's what would that's the what data would contain, and then that would be put into that div where so instead of the loader, you would now see some text. Okay, so now for the check underscore user dot php file, what I've created here is just a simple um, connection to a database, which I have um, just a I think it's two usernames in and I might have to check if I can't remember um, so basically anyway we're going to create if if is set if is set um, dollar underscore post and um, what did we call it we called it username remember um, so in here we're going to create username is equal to my sql underscore real underscore escape and that's just some um, micro injection solution um, so post username so now the username from the um, what we've posted through from that text box what the user enters and um, that's going to this is now going to change in real time to every key type the user puts in. Okay. So under this, um, we're just going to create if. Uh, let's bring that down a line. So if um, is not empty. Um, username. So if username does contain something. Then we're going to run a code. Else, so if it contains nothing, if the user typed in nothing, um, um, actually, what we're going to do is else if if username um, actually no, we'll we'll just leave that out for now. So it's just like that. So if the user contains nothing, then we're not going to display anything for the user because uh, if we've not typed anything in, then um, we don't really want to be displaying anything. So in here now, we're just going to create a query, and that is equal to MySQL underscore query. So we're going to select all from users. Where user name is equal to username, so a simple query there. Um, username underscore result, 
is equal to MySQL num rows uh, query. So that's going to get something. And then basically, what we're going to say is if um, if username um, underscore result equals zero. So that means um, there is there has been no um, username found in the database, meaning that it is available. So we can then echo out um, username available. Um, so then else. Uh, so um, we're just going to put the else if on this one now. Um, username and score result equals one, meaning that there has been something found in the database. You could probably just leave it as else like that, but just for a bit of extra security, just to make sure that there is only one in the database. I'm just going to echo out here. Um, so uh, that username is taken. Okay, so now let's just save this all out, refresh, and let's test. So if I type something in here, um, oops. Okay, one minute. Okay, the problem was in here um, that he meant to have a comma after it and down here um, brackets uh, just like that and a semicolon just to end the line off. Um, so now if we test this out, um, as you can see, uh, let's, as you can see the uh, the it's coming up and it's just because the text is in black. So if I just uh, remove that, just like that. Try again. Okay, um, so delete that. I can see username available. Ash username available. If I put in admin, I think. Nope. Uh, let me just pause it and have a quick check of what I've got in the database. Okay, so the um, I've got user in the database. So sorry that username is taken, and I have also got an other user. So as you can see, um, without the R, username available with the R. So that username is taken, and once again like that. So as you can see, that um, is a way of showing um, how uh, if a username is available without actually um, without the user actually just typing the username and then finding out after they click register. So that's how to do that in real time using JavaScript uh, with jQuery. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.